Dr. Henry L. Sonny Presnell is well known at Texas A&M University and beyond for his many years as director of the Texas A&M Stevenson Companion Animal Life Care Center, which provides care for companion animals when their owners are no longer able to do so. Prior to enrolling as a DVM student, Presnell earned a bachelor's degree in animal husbandry from Texas A&M University in 1957 and served in the United States Army until 1965. He then began veterinary school as a member of the Texas A&M Doctor of Veterinary Medicine class of 1969. Well, it's literally been my life, you know. I, I grew up here, so I grew up an Aggie and would never have considered, you know, back when I was young, you didn't think about going off to Pennsylvania or Michigan or some, even to Louisiana. I mean, you, you went to the closest school at home where it was the cost the least, you know, but literally, uh, you know, I was born in Aggie. All my, my uh, brothers and brother-in-law graduated from here. All of my children and their spouses, except one, uh, have graduated from here. So it's just been in my, my blood all my life, you know. I attended A&M football games when there was a knot hole section you could get in for a dollar, you know. After graduating with his DVM degree, Presnell began nearly a 30-year career in private practice, which included acquiring the Brazos Veterinary Clinic and later establishing Briarcrest Veterinary Clinic in Bryan. My little great-granddaughter <laughs> went as a veterinarian to her career day in her second grade this year, and she had on scrubs with her name on them and stethoscope around. She loves uh, every animal that walks and uh, I don't say that you have to love animals to be a veterinarian but boy, it, it better be a start. You'll be successful if you enjoy what you're doing and if you don't chances are you won't be. In 1998 Presnell became the director of the Stevenson Center, a position in which he served for more than two decades until his retirement in August 2022. During his tenure he increased the overall enrollment of the center by over $30 million. This was not like work. I was given a tour one time here and I said something about I only work half time or part time. And, it, and this person said, you call this work? And I had to laugh because it, it really wasn't. I always enjoyed getting up, coming to the center every day. And, uh, and I guess that's, it's just been so, such a rewarding period of time in my life. I would have to say that probably the biggest accomplishment during my veterinary career and the one that I'm the most proud of is the, uh, what we've been able to do here with the Stevenson Center in uh, growing and expanding it and, and, and uh, taking it from less than 100 pets enrolled in the program to over 700 currently and, and still growing, added two uh, major additions to the original facility and the largest and probably the final addition planned. And the thing that I, I cherish the most really is the relationship that I was able to develop uh, here at the center with some of the donors. It's a, it's a relationship that, that uh, you build over time and, and, and it's very rewarding. Presnell's leadership has also continued with his DVM class, having organized multiple class reunions and serving as a principal organizer for the class of 1969 Endowed Scholarship Fund, which financially supports one veterinary student each year. When we lost our appointed class agent, I just sort of assumed, and it was, it was a natural for me here, and it's just something I like see it like doing and, and seeing everybody and, and the classmates really appreciate it. And let's face it, somebody has to do it if it's gonna happen. You know, like I say, it's been part of my life for over 50 some odd years this school has and, and uh, so many great memories, relationships, uh, and, and what it's done to provide, you know, for me and my, my family, veterinary medicine has, and then continue to do as, a, as a, the director of the, the center. As it turned out, uh, I'd had several meetings with Dr. Ellett when he was exploring the Stevenson Center as a concept. He'd, I'd go to lunch and we'd talk about it. Had no idea that I'd ever be involved with it. And uh, lo and behold, uh, 
after I left practice, well, had the opportunity to become the director, and which was the first director the center had ever had. And uh, it's just been a, a wonderful career for me and uh, met so many great people and helped so many people. Fresno lives in Bryan, where he grew up, and has three sons, one daughter, nine grandchildren, and three great-grandchildren.